Hey, this is Andrew Critch, and in this video I'm going to show you how I like to configure a program called YED for causal diagrams. So here's my fresh installation of YED. And you can see if I click here in the editor region, I can add some nodes for a diagram. And the first thing I want to do is clear up some screen space by minimizing these extra windows over here on the left. Okay. And maximizing the Y ed window, obviously. Now the next thing is, well, before I get ahead of myself, if you click on a node and then hit enter or F2 on Windows, you can add a node label. And you can hit shift enter to start new lines. But what you'll find is that the node doesn't adjust its size to the text of the label. So to fix that, we're going to go to File, Preferences, Editor, and then enable this dynam dynamically adjust node size to label size option, which for some reason is not the default. And there's one more thing you need to do, which is use this Tools Fit Node to Label tool, um, and make sure you've disabled this ignore height option which again for some reason is not disabled by default and hit OK and then you'll see that all the nodes adjust their size to their label size and that should continue to happen so here I am editing a node label and it should adjust itself automatically cool uh, the last thing that I want to suggest is how to order these palettes. So here are a bunch of different objects. If you double click an object, um, you can insert objects like that into your diagram. And I want to recommend a particular ordering um, for how these objects can appear because there's actually a bunch of different palettes of objects that you can use. What you can do is right click on any of the titles of these palettes, um, or if that doesn't work for you, you can go to Edit, Manage Palette. Okay, so here's ma the Manage Palette dialog. And I'm going to recommend that wherever in this list here of displayed palette sections, wherever Shape Nodes occurs, uh, shift it to the top, because those are what you'll want to use most for drawing causal diagrams. And uh, here's Current Elements, wherever that is. Shift that to the very top and leave it there. Those are things that, uh, those are objects that are, occur already in the document that you're making that you will probably want to make more of. And the last thing is this business process model uh, palette here, which I usually like to keep right underneath shape notes because I like the edges used in that palette. Uh, so that's going to shift my three favorite palettes to near the top. And the last thing. Uh, we're going to do is import a section from a file I've got on my website. So let's go to my website here, uh, start a new um, window, and go to acritch.com slash yed. And right here there's a link where you can download a custom yed palette that I made. So if it opens like this as a text, you can just go to File, Save As. Uh, and I guess you'll need to make sure that this text uh, extension is not included. Okay, and once you've downloaded that, you can go to Import Section, and this is where I saved it originally. It's called Critch's Favorite Objects. What that does is it imports a palette of objects that I have made ahead of time that I find I use frequently for causal diagrams and I'm going to move that right to the top underneath current elements. Okay, and now that I've done that you can easily you can see that it's easy to choose it from a bunch of different node colors and styles um, so that you can make causal diagrams like this one. That's all I have to say about setup and uh, I'll make another video um, illustrating the steps for making a diagram just like this one. Thanks.